Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Mama, we better hurry. These pictures of Fritz and Bertha and David will be here. Well, the room's starting to look quite livable, I'm pleased to admit. Is that the best you can say for our handiwork? I think it's stunning. Fritz and Bertha love it. Mm. Just a couple of more tacks and we can hang up the pictures. Oh, Claudia, you'll drive that wall down. Oh, no, I won't. I like the view from this window. It faces the whole farm. Yes, that's for Fritz. Poor Fritz having had to live in the city all this time. And what he really wanted was a place of his own. Do you think they'll ever get it? What? A place of their own. I doubt it. Why do you say that? I just doubt it. But it's nice. They still have their hopes. Hopes keep people young. Oh, I have so many hopes. Hang on to them. Oh, don't worry. Trouble is, so many of them are coming true so fast, at this rate I'll run out of them. If you do, I'll disown you. <laughs> there. Are these pictures straight? Well, they're pretty good for you. That one there, that tilts a little bit to the left. Oh, dear. There's nothing that makes me more nervous than a crooked picture. How's that? Better? Now, let's see. What else do we have to do? Let me see. The curtains are up. Yeah. Bedspreads are on. The mm-hmm. scatter rugs are down. You dust it. Hangers in the closet. I put some there already. Paper in the drawers? That's done, too. Mama, when did you do all this? Oh, while you were talking. You know, maybe I should try listening for a change. Seems a person can get a lot more done that way. You wouldn't like it, although I don't think you've ever tried. Well, Mama, I hear a car. Look out the window. No, didn't stop. Now that everything's ready, I wish they'd come. Sit down and save your strength. I've been saving it for months. I feel like King Midas. But I might as well sit down. Oh, Ooh. Claudia. <laughs> Do you realize it's almost time to feed the baby? Oh, I hope they get here before it's time to start. Bobby resents being interrupted. And I resent his having to wait. Well, I guess that's that. Guess it is. Life is queer. All of a sudden? No, just all the time. We rented an apartment in New York, and what happens? Fritz is the superintendent, and Bertha turns out to be the most wonderful woman. Then we move up to the farm. Frankly, Mama, I was scared to death as to how we'd ever manage. The next thing we know, Fritz and Bertha come up to take over. Where do you keep the Blarney Stone in this house? Under your bed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I hope it won't be too much work for them up here. I'll be around for a while longer. If Bertha lets you do anything to help... Or me, even. <laughs> you know how she is about it. She rolls up her sleeves and everything gets done. Poof, like magic. It's system that counts. I have system. But with me, it's not enough. Well, let's go downstairs. I wish they'd get here. So do I. I'm dying to hear what they say when they see their room. Just a little patience, please, or don't you have any? Of course I have some. I waited nine months for the baby to come, didn't I? You protested a good deal. There they are. I'm going downstairs. Be careful. Yes, 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 yes. Claudia, remember, I, I have dinner already. I remember. Brenda's not going to do one bit of work tonight, Mama. Tonight they're company. David? David, is that you? Anybody home? Everybody's home. You aren't alone, are you? I am not. Fritz oh. and Bertha out by the car. Wonderful. They're really here. I can hardly believe it. Hey, don't I even get a hello? Just a quick one. Fritz and Bertha are more important tonight. Fritz, Bertha, welcome to Eastbrook. Oh, hello, hello. Mrs. Norton, we have such a lovely drive up. The country is beautiful, isn't it? Everything is so green, so rich looking. In this house, can you believe this is where we are going to live, Fritz? I try to believe. I'm pinching myself. Oh, somebody pinch me, too. I can hardly believe it's true. Are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> don't tickle. Pinch if you like, but don't tickle, please. Prince, they are like two children. My no? wife is like two children, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very adult when you're not around. It, I think it's the air, Bertha. And the sky, it is, it's so big. You, you feel small like children. Up here on the farm, I feel as if I own the sky as far as I can see. And that is very far. Very far. <laughs> well... Your, your room is all ready. We 
hope you're going to like it. We oh, like it. Babe. We know we like it. But it is not for the room we come. It will be nice, Fritz, huh? To live with the family we love. Well, certainly. It's the only way to live. The only way. But the fields, Mr. Norton, they are hardly started. Oh, they've been waiting for you, Fritz. We had a handyman, but he wasn't very handy, so we let him go. Oh. <laughs> His mistakes cost too much money. Well, don't worry. We will work the land, and it will grow and give you very much. Oh, it better had. I'm sick and tired of it lying around not earning its keep. Well, how about coming inside now and getting settled? Yeah, I, I put away our things and uh, change my clothes, and we are ready. Oh, yes, just sir. put away your things. You don't have to be ready for anything tonight. Oh, the house. It looks wonderful. Yeah. So clean. I do not think you need me at all. Oh, we need you all right, but we don't want you here only for that. We want you here... Because we want you here. Because we want you here. Hmm? Because Hello. we want you here. Because we want you here. Hello. 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 You don't know how long we've been waiting for you. Not so long as we have waited to come. I wonder why we didn't think of this months ago when we first moved up. Oh, we didn't dare think of it. I guess that's it. Now, come on. Your room is just down to the left. See how we fixed it, David. Here, uh, I'll take the bags. Bertha, put that one down. No, it is a little one. It is light. I can put carry. it down. Put it down. You better do what he says. David can be an awful bully. <laughs> Just this once, then I put it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! This house. The walls are full of happiness. They're ah. full of mortgages too. <laughs> uh, how's the baby since you are here? Happy as a duck in the water. I think he thinks he is a duck most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I had him out under the apple tree this afternoon, and he loved. He didn't open his eyes. Well, that's how I knew. <laughs> well, this is your room. This? Oh. For Fritz and me? For well, us? It's not very big, but it's the only extra one we have. Not very big? Why, but it's enormous. It's half as big as all of Connecticut. With so many windows. Yes, isn't it fun? We look out all the time. We huh? hope you like it. Such a view. Our room, hmm. with white organdy curtains, white bedspreads. Oh, you should not have taken such trouble. We wanted to. We would have been happy sleeping in the cellar, or old Fritz in the barn. <laughs> you can hear roosters in the morning. Yes, and I hear angels in the night. Oh, Mrs. Norton, <laughs> Fritz and I will be so happy here. It is like we've come home, like all our hopes at last, but much better. I'm glad, Bertha. Well, we'll leave you now. Just make yourselves at home. Oh, dinner will be ready in a half an hour. Dinner ready? I, I must hurry then. Oh, there's not anything for you to do except take your time. But I must help with dinner. You must not. Oh, just a little to make myself feel we are really here because you need us. Don't you worry about that. In another week, you'll probably be sorry you ever came. Oh, we will never be sorry, Mr. Norton. But tonight, I, I was going to make you apple pancakes. You uh, were? Yeah. It's a celebration. Apple pancakes. David, Bertha is not to do one single solitary thing tonight, but enjoy herself. Oh, then it is settled. I make apple pancakes, because then I enjoy myself more than any other way. Bertha, you're <laughs> terrible. <laughs> David, where will I get you for this? Claudia, now, now you wouldn't want me to deprive Bertha of her only pleasure, would you? Well, you are the greediest, the most apple pancake hungry man I ever knew. Now, come on, old pancake. <laughs> we'll let Bertha get settled. In my heart, I'm all settled. I'll be ready in a moment. Well, I didn't think two people could be so happy with so little. You should have seen them in the car, darling. They, they were like children on Christmas morning. Oh, hey, where'd Fritz go? He didn't come upstairs with us, or I guess, I guess he's getting acquainted with the outside. Probably went to have a look at the barn. <laughs> I think he wishes he could sleep there. <laughs> Probably. Now... I'm going to go in and have a quick shower before dinner. I'll go tell Mama about the apple pancakes so she won't start cutting up the grapefruit. Mama? Mama, where are you? I'm in the kitchen, Claudia. Well, did she like it? She said it was beautiful, the curtains, the view, everything. Good. But if she finds you down here in the kitchen, she'll be furious. She considers the kitchen all her own. But not tonight. Oh, that's where you're wrong. Tonight is apple pancake night. Claudia, I thought I told you. Did you say apple pancakes? I did. Apple pancakes. There was no point in arguing. David has already melted. Well, it's against my principles, but I've nearly melted myself. So am I. It'll, it'll please both of us. Yeah. At least everything else is ready and the table's set. Have you seen Fritz any place? I guess he must be outside, maybe. 
Hmm. Oh, I'm glad it wasn't raining when they came. It's going to be a beautiful evening. I don't see Fritz up around the barn any place. Claudia, is that him there? On the path to the hill? Where? I don't see him. Over anybody. there. That gaunt man stooping over. Oh, yes. Yes, I guess that must be Fritz. What's he doing, Mama? Mm, seems to be picking up something. Looks as if he's picking up a piece of earth. He's holding it in his hands and smelling it. Now he's standing up straight and looking up towards the walnut tree on the hill. Mama, he looks like a man who's had a very great hunger for the earth. At last he's found it. I didn't know a man could want so much for just plain good earth. I guess that's what's in David, too. Fritz is smelling the land and Bertha's rushing to her kitchen. No, it's not a room they wanted. It's a way of life. Sometimes you astound me. Not so brilliant. It's just the way of life David's given to me. The life that Fritz finds in just a clod of earth held in his hands. Heavens, Mama, what are we doing here? You realize we're three minutes late for Bobby's dinner? Claudia, Claudia, don't run. I'll wring your neck if you fall and break it. As I listened to a mother I know the other day, I couldn't help but admire the way she handled her teenage son. He was begging to have a party. Instead of complaining or denying him the fun, she simply smiled and said, Fine, I'll order a case of Coke. The rest is up to you. Well, the boy went galloping off to the phone in a high state of glee, and I'm willing to wager the party was a success on all counts. The kids had fun, and Mom had very little trouble. I hand you the tip, those of you with youngsters, because nothing makes such a party hit as ice-cold Coca-Cola, especially with teenagers. Well, I have walked all around the farm, Mr. King. And, Fritz, what did you find? Oh, I, I, I can't put it in words, but it is such a beautiful place, and uh, the land is good. Oh, I bet you can't wait to turn your hand at that land. Ah, uh, the first thing tomorrow morning, I will start. It's a big job you have ahead of you, Fritz. Uh, I'm glad with work and such a place to live, Bertha and I... We will be very happy. Well, we're all glad you found what you wanted. It's never too late. To live not as one hopes and needs. That and lonesomeness are two terrible things. You've tasted lonesomeness, too. We all taste it, no? Well, even small boys do, Fritz. And with them, it's a very special kind. The worst. As we'll find out on Monday when Claudia and David have a surprise visitor. See you then, Fritz. I... We will be here. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again Monday at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause... The pause that refreshes, and ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These programs star Catherine Bard as Claudia and Paul Crabtree as David, and the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.